All right, so a few days ago, FaZe Clan posted a short podcast clip on their Instagram of me talking about my top five favorite Call of Duty games of all time. I just listed them five through one, and people will call me crazy. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my top 10 best Call of Duty games of all time, and I think this is a pretty good list. Obviously, you know, your personal relationship with the games, how old you are, is going to depend on what your favorite games are, to be honest. But I've been around long enough to have played every single Call of Duty game. And if I can make a top 10 list about anything, it's definitely this. Before we get into the list, I just want to explain my criteria. So we're going to be ranking these games based off of fan favorite guns, fan favorite maps, gameplay, zombies, and community game modes slash bonus game modes. Like sticks and stones, all or nothing, all those kinds of things. We're not going to be including campaigns because not everybody played the campaign. And we're also not going to be including any battle royales because I feel like that's in a separate category. So we're really just going through the multiplayer and the zombies. All right, so coming in at number 10, we got Black Ops 4. This is one of the highest selling Call of Duties came out in 2018. And one of the reasons why we're not doing campaigns because this Call of Duty actually doesn't have a campaign. So, so not every Call of Duty has a campaign. But this Call of Duty was pretty good, had a pretty good multiplayer. Not the best zombies, but you know, it had all the old zombies maps too, which was pretty good. At number nine, we have Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Kind of the newer Call of Duty, uh, but it had some good guns, had a cool system where you could uh, rank up guns, add attachments similar to how it was in Modern Warfare 2019, but it also had smooth gameplay. It had uh, great zombies. I'd put this a little bit higher than Black Ops 4, but not as high as the rest of the Call of Duty games I'm about to list. Coming in at number eight, we have COD 4. Now this is a classic Call of Duty favorite. Um, if you're a little bit younger, then you probably might have not played this game or not played until the remastered version came out. But this was a revolutionary Call of Duty uh, with the mechanics of the game, the fan favorite guns, the fan favorite maps. Uh, it's a really great COD. It may not be quite as built out as Cold War or Black Ops 4, which are some of the newer Call of Duties with some more innovative things. Uh, but it was revolutionary for its time and it will always be a classic Call of Duty. I had to put it at number eight. At number seven, we have Modern Warfare 2019. Now, maybe a little bit controversial putting this one ahead of COD 4, but I'm going to give this one a higher spot because of its engine, man. The engine of the game was so smooth. Uh, it was revolutionary as well in the sense that we had a attachment building. The guns look great. Maps look great. Might not have had as many fan favorite maps as COD 4, but I will still put it above it in the rankings here at number seven. At number six, a lot of people might be surprised by this, okay? But I'm going to put Advanced Warfare Number six. Now, a lot of people don't actually like this game. Again, this is going to come down to personal preference. I joined FaZe during this game. I thought I had a great balance for uh, pub stompers, casual players, and the trick shotter snipers that did their thing. I uh, had some cool maps, maybe not fan favorite maps, but some maps that I really enjoyed. And it also had an exo zombies game mode, which is the reason that I'm going to be putting it up a little bit higher. Uh, zombies was a great part of Call of Duty. Um, I think it's really important for a Call of Duty game to have a good zombies. And uh, this game wasn't even supposed to really have zombies and it actually ended up having a pretty fun zombies. Obviously not as built out as some of the Black Ops games with the Easter eggs and stuff, but still really fun to play and squad up with your friends. And I think the movement of the game was great. A lot of people didn't like it. However, I think it even holds up to games that are played today. Like if you hop on Advanced Warfare today and play it, the movement still feels fun. It feels fresh and it can hold up with other Call of Duties that are even newer than it. All right, let's get into our top five. At the number five spot, we have Black Ops 3. This game came out in 2015, and it's the sequel to uh, one of my personal favorite games of all time, Black Ops 2. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But this is an awesome game. Uh, it's focused on special abilities, which was something new uh, in, in Call of Duty. It had some great guns, some fan favorite maps, some smooth gameplay, and also a really good zombies. It obviously had uh, all the older maps that you could get from the older uh, Black Ops games, but it also had some revolutionary new zombie games and maps that uh, were awesome and fan favorites. This game also holds a special place in my heart. Came out in 2015 back at the New York Phase house. Um, so this is gonna be at my number five spot. It's better than all the other games that I listed before, but it's not quite as good as these next top four. Before we get into our top four, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, DoorDash, the best way to get local foods delivered directly to you without ever having to leave your gaming setup. And today, they're actually doing a sweepstakes to send you and a friend to DreamHack. It's exclusively for Dash Pass users, but if you use the code PhaseHack in the promo code section of your cart when you're placing your order, you're automatically entered into the DreamHack sweepstakes. So if you've ever wanted to go there, uh, you can go there with a friend. Good luck to you all. But now moving into the top four greatest Call of Duties of all time. Coming in at number four, we have Modern Warfare 3. Now, why is Modern Warfare 3 placed so high on this list? It doesn't even have a zombies game mode. Well, this game, similar to Modern Warfare 2, which we'll be talking about shortly, 
just absolutely kills it when it comes to the nostalgic fan favorite maps fan favorite guns and especially game modes this was the first call of duty where we saw community game modes such as infected all or nothing drop zone at paired with the alternate game modes like gun game one in the chamber made this one of the best call of duties of all time better than all the call of duties i listed but not as good as the top three coming in at number three and this is the one that people got most upset with me about is modern warfare 2. Most people consider this game to be the best Call of Duty of all time, but it's not as good as the next two Call of Duties that I'm gonna talk about. But let's talk about Modern Warfare 2 real quick. The game was amazing. Getting a nuke was one of the best feelings of all time. Still to this day, getting a nuke feels awesome in the game. It has some of the best guns of all time, probably the best, most nostalgic guns and the most nostalgic maps of any Call of Duty, Terminal, Rust, High Rise. We got the Intervention, Barrett, classic guns, classic maps, Amazing gameplay. It, that's where FaZe Clan started, trick shotting, sniping, all that stuff. So, if you put this Call of Duty at your favorite Call of Duty, you're absolutely right. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. Uh, but these next two Call of Duties just hit a little bit harder. At the number two spot, we got Black Ops 1. This was such a good game. It was such an improvement on the zombie side. It had some of the best and probably the most nostalgic zombies maps of all time. It had some really nostalgic guns, not quite as nostalgic maybe as Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. When I say nostalgic, I just mean like fan favorite guns. But it had amazing gameplay. The game felt smooth. Uh, it was great for casual players, great for pub stompers, had a great pro scene. Uh, it was great for sniping. It was great for trick shotting. Again, not quite as good as Modern Warfare 2, maybe some other Call of Duties, but still really great. And it had some revolutionary game modes. This is the first ever time we saw wager match game modes. And I don't know if I I'm the only one who really cares this much about these types of things, but games like Gun Game, Sharpshooter, One in the Chamber, Sticks and Stones made this such a fun Call of Duty, and it was it's such a switch up from the from the old Call of Duties or the Call of Duties that came before it. So Black Ops 1 comes in at the number two spot for me, but beating it out at the number one spot, this is my favorite Call of Duty of all time, Black Ops 2. It just had the best of all worlds. Everything that I mentioned, it pretty much had the best of. It had the best... If not the best, the second best nostalgic fan favorite guns, fan favorite maps. It had all the awesome game modes in it too. It was great for casual players, awesome for pub stompers, had a great pro scene, amazing for trick shotting and sniping, and it had an awesome, awesome zombies game mode. It had all the older zombies from the Black Ops 1, um, a little bit more refurbished, um, and then it also had some really good new DLC zombies maps, some great DLC multiplayer maps. I mean, all the DLCs were really good on that game, which I think makes me rank it pretty high. You know what I'm saying? These days, I feel like a lot of the stuff that gets dropped DLC-wise in Call of Duty isn't really that great. But back then, every DLC had great additions, great multiplayer maps, great zombies maps, and some really sick gun camos. But yeah, that's my top 10 best Call of Duty games of all time. I'm very interested to hear what you guys think of my list I doubt there's going to be anybody out there who fully agrees with it, because like I said, um, it's kind of up to personal preference. But I tried to explain it as best as I could uh, after, you know, FaZe posting that podcast clip, and I didn't really add any context. I was just like rattling them off. Five, four, three, two, one. So here, add some more context. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.